Matthew Perry, who rose to the heights of TV fame as one of the stars of Friends, was found dead at his Los Angeles home on Saturday. The news of his passing seemed to come as a shock as he was only 54. TMZ reported that Perry had drowned and that he was found dead in a hot tub at his home in LA. Initial reports claimed that there were no drugs found at the scene and no foul play was involved. However, an investigation into how the actor died is still ongoing. While Matthew was mainly living in his home in the Pacific Palisades area where he was found, the Friends star has maintained a pretty impressive real estate portfolio over the years. Matthew Perry was best known for playing Chandler Bing on the top rated sitcom Friends, which ran on NBC from 1994 to 2004. As the show became more and more popular through the late 1990s, its cast, including Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer, rocketed to international celebrity status, of course, including Perry himself. While Matthew had enjoyed fame and success ever since Friends, he also struggled with addiction issues throughout his life, which he spoke about in his book, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, which he released in 2022. The actor did seem to find some comfort at home though, and he had treated himself to some impressive properties over the years. Most recently in June 2023, when he purchased an abode in the Hollywood Hills for $5.2 million. The white mid-century modern home resembles a scaled down version of one of the actor's former Hollywood Hills residences, which was valued at $13.5 million. Standing 2,566 square feet, this 1957 property underwent recent renovations and features three bedrooms and four bathrooms. A series of floating concrete steps leads to an oversized front door, flanked by a row of floor to ceiling windows and an attached two car garage. Visitors are welcomed by an atrium style entryway with stone tile floors and a glass ceiling that allows natural light to illuminate the space. Moving further inside an open living area and a formal dining room, there are a dual sided fireplace, blonde hardwood floors and walls made of glass. The kitchen with white windows includes a breakfast bar peninsula and a striking black stone backsplash. The backyard area boasts a covered patio and an electric fire pit near the pool with landscape gardens surrounding it. For indoor entertainment, there's a media room with black walls and a projector set up with surround sound. Each of the three bedrooms in the house features a classy ensemble suite bathroom covered in sleek stone. The primary suite here includes a double vanity, a soaking tub with wall mounted TV and glass walled rain shower. However, what seems to be Perry's main house was a place he bought in August 2020. At the time, the actor was downsizing his living situation when he paid an even $6 million for a contemporary abode perched on a hill in the exclusive Pacific Palisades neighborhood of LA. This home spent about 2009 900 square feet with four beds and 4.5 baths inside. And while it's modestly sized, at least compared to his former properties, it makes up for its smaller size with views and clean line design. The contemporary cottage was originally built back in 1965, but the structure went through a mega remodel, replacing the previous flooring with dramatic wheat oak floors and adding recessed LED lights as well as floor to ceiling windows. Matthew's single level home features an open floor plan with the perfect indoor outdoor flow. While well, the home is also equipped with smart home tech and a facial recognition security system. Walking in the large front door, there's a massive great room with living and dining spaces and wall to wall glass that opens up to the lawn and views of the Pacific. There's also a glittery modern fireplace on one side of the room and a formal dining table on on the other. Then the modern kitchen has a chic concrete breakfast table, fancy appliances, and a wall decked out with hanging pot rack. Besides the wine cooler here, there's also floor to ceiling wine rack to display only best bottles. While another wall in his kitchen was made up of floating planters used for an indoor vegetable garden. Two of the bedrooms here are actually master suites and both of them offered wall to wall glass sliders that open to private terraces and amazing views. Not to mention the en suites had Jack and Jill basin sinks, tubs, and a large steam shower, while the roomy walk in closet was made of special cedar panels. Perry's property sat atop a hill, but it was surprisingly leveled and grassy. The yard featured a wood side.
sided raised pool and spa located on the cliff's edge for some amazing views of the sunsets and ocean. Elsewhere, you find a large fire pit, and on a clear day, you're able to catch views all the way down to the coast, even to Catalina Island. In early 2021, Matthew also unloaded his beachfront Malibu mansion for $13.1 million. The Friend Star listed this one back in August 2020 for $14.95 million, and then adjusted the price a couple of times. He purchased it back in 2011 for $12 million, according to property record. Perry spent much of the first half of 2020 at this two-story abode, posting numerous photos of it to social media at the time. This beautiful home is super contemporary, and it sits on a stretch of sand right on one of Malibu's most exclusive streets. Inside, it spans 5,500 square feet of space with four beds, 3.5 baths, and a secure gate, which opens up to a covered outdoor hall. This then leads to a glass front door and the spacious entryway. Here, you'll find a steel and wood floating staircase, while the living and entertaining areas are spacious and loft-like. There are warm wood floors and beamed wood ceilings throughout, while the main living area also has a fireplace in the center. Of course, there are also a ton of floor-to-ceiling windows and glass doors here that lead to a deck wrapping around three sides of the home. When the glass is pushed open, it merges seamlessly with the indoor spaces and lets in the ocean breeze. The living room is large, boasting comfy white furnishings and even a designer ping pong table, while the galley kitchen is fully open to the living and dining areas. The kitchen has custom cabinets, a center island, and top of the line commercial style appliances. At least one of the guest rooms here has a private bathroom, while Matthew's former master suite boasts expansive views of the ocean and coastline and spans the full width of the home. The master bedroom has a private sitting room, oversized dressing room, and a simple but impressive deluxe ensuite bath. And just like the common areas downstairs, the master suite has the same floor to ceiling windows which open to a private balcony overlooking the ocean. Elsewhere in the Malibu home, there is a movie theater with room for about 10 offering deep cushioned sofas, and there's also a small courtyard with a spa surrounded by exotic wood decking. In 2020, Perry also listed a lavish penthouse property for $35 million, then dropping it to $27 million. Located at the Century Building in Century City, Los Angeles, Matthew's former penthouse takes up the entire 40th floor of the building and is even referred to as a mansion in the sky. If this crib looks familiar, it might be because earlier this year, superstar Rihanna ended up purchasing it. While Matthew bought the condo back in 2017, for $20 million. And the place is over 9,000 square feet throughout and entirely circular if you can believe it. There are four beds within the mansion-sized condo and when he lived here, Perry hired an architect and interior designer to transform the space into perfection. Interiors offer a bold color palette and plenty of velvet accents throughout, including a lot of the furnishings. There are jaw-dropping views throughout this whole penthouse, not to mention four massive terraces that offer a ton of private outdoor space. The unique round floor plan allows for amazing 360 degree views of the city all around with the ability to see the downtown skyline, ocean, the Hollywood sign, and more from the comfort of your own home. There's even a luxury screening room here that gives off Batman vibes, so if you don't want to use the building's movie theater, you have options. That's gonna wrap up today's video, but we got to take a peek into the homes that Matthew Perry cherished over the years. While his sudden passing comes as a shock to all and we'll no doubt miss all the laughs he brought to us on Friends, the legacy will live on. Before we head out, answer this question for me. What was your favorite Chandler Bing memory from Friends? Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I will see you all in another video. Bye.